Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I hope you had a wonderful long weekend. And for those of you who did something memorable and took some time off to be with family, with friends, and enjoy your weekend, I hope you made memories. And you know, memories are nothing but small little pictures and moments that you capture and you embed it within your mind. And that becomes a beautiful memory. Welcome, this is Lisa. I am your expert clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and the founder of Heal Within, which is a healing center in the heart of Glendale, California, where transformation begins. So today I'm going to be talking about um, the effects of hypnosis and hypnotherapy and how some people say, I want to come and cure something and how the verbiage, what we use and how it impacts our conscious and our subconscious that truly matters because you can do this at home or no matter where you are. You can do self-hypnosis at home. You can use it in the office. You take a few moments and you just tap within. And once you know how to do this, it's just like a meditation and yet not meditation. So I'm going to explain all this. So why is it that certain, certain people come for hypnotherapy to tap into their subconscious mind? Is because the programmings that we have, that you have, and from the day that you were born until now, every single habit, every time you did something that you did over and over, over and over, it became a habit. It's right. And then that habit, when you continue doing it more often, over and over it becomes like a new behavior so it sets in and you continuously do that when you have a behavior and it's already embedded in your daily routine in your daily work or whatever it is that you do it's like my god this is who I am and yet it is not who you are it's what you do it's how you behave and the things that you act upon or respond to not who you are so hi Sida John how are you so good to have you here mm. yes I love communicating with my clients my the people who follow me and if you have not followed me please subscribe let's follow I if there is any questions I respond to every single question so you know I had a client who came in here and says I want to cure my anxiety well what we do is first and foremost evoke what was to understand to acknowledge to shed a light where this anxiety comes from just like a therapist does and yet what we do is we delve deeper than the conscious thinking analyzing criticizing judging mind your conscious level and we top into the subconscious level where as I said, the blueprint of every action and reaction, every cause, every aspect of your behavior started and it was set and it was incorporated inside. So once we go and peel away, right? Peel away uh, your habits, peel away the cause, I mean, peel away the symptoms of it and get to the cause. And the cause does not necessarily have to have happened in your childhood. It could be incorporated when you were an adult. Okay. Once you say, okay, I can't sleep for the last 
uh, six years. It's been difficult. I'm going through anxiety. And then I even have a client who came in here and symptomatic had this pain, a pain that traveled throughout her body. And it was here and then it was here and then it was here. So it's like constantly making her be aware of her body, find faults with her body, find that there is a pain and going to the doctor. And from one doctor to another, from MRI, x-rays, uh, seeing a psychologist, seeing everyone, it's, it's like, why is this body creating this? Why is this pain traveling? So some call it symptomatic, some call it psychosomatic. It's understanding what is it that the body is doing, right? Or you are creating it and incorporating in your body because as long as you are paying attention to your body or someone else is paying attention to your body or your loved ones are paying attention to you, are you hearing me? That's what was happening. It's like, as long as I, even though it's a negative thing, because your subconscious mind does not understand the good or the bad, the right or the wrong, or it, it is good pain, or if it is a bad pain, it's just there to, knock on wood, is pay attention to me. And I know this may sound a little bit difficult to understand, and yet we do create most of what is wrong, which even the word wrong is wrong because it is created for a reason. Just like I say, there is never an accident. For every accident, there is a cause and an effect. So something caused it. It didn't just happen. So understanding the cause of it is what we want to do. So I had a client who came in here and said, do I really have to go through all this childhood and all that drama in order for me to understand? No, <laughs> really no. Most of the things that happened to us for whatever reason if it happened seven years ago it could be a boomerang from a long time ago but doesn't have to be so let's go and find the cause and the effect so far the symptom is the effect what we do is find the cause so hypnotherapy is not going to cure it but hypnotherapy is doing the therapy. It's tapping into the subconscious mind so we can open the doors, the door of the Pandora, yes, uh, or the, what is that box? Uh, it is our, the box that we put everything in there. Oh my God, I can't remember the name of it. Okay, so it's not the Pandora's box, but it is... Um, do you know the box that you put all your dowry in there? <laughs> okay, I'm lost for words. And as a hypnotherapist, I'm all about words. Words that empower us. Words that make a difference. And it's, it's knowing that how we evoke certain things. And even the Pandora's box, we're not opening it to go all the way to the childhood trauma or drama or everything. But it's recognizing all the symptoms and then finding the, the beginning of it. Once you understand that, as I have always said, it's just like anxiety is a symptom. If you have, if you have been diagnosed with ADHD, if you have been diagnosed with shingles, if you have been diagnosed something that it is medical and there is something, it's not that hypnotherapy is going to go and cure shingles or it's curing ADHD or OCD. But what we are doing is for you to recognize 
where did this start how did it start and what can I do to shift to make it feel better how can I let it go and how can I make changes physically mentally emotionally personally that eases the pain eases the symptoms eases or even alleviates yes letting go alleviating the symptom so the number one reason why someone gets shingles it's been medically proven that it is a virus right so shingles is a virus people who've had chicken pox uh, as a child that virus stays in the body we all have it if you've ever had a chicken pox you have you are asymptomatic to having that virus still lingering in your body but it does not awaken unless something is like tapping into it or something in the body awakens it what awakens that virus most times we don't know why people get shingles and shingles can attack the face shingles can be on the back it is um it could be very painful and it is you see it with the red marks on the body and shingles is not a beautiful sight and uh, it can also be painful what we do through hypnotherapy is first and foremost ease the pain number one help you visualize that shingle the pain managing the pain number one managing the anxiety that you get from having shingles number three is that is symptomatic part of it is where it came from what caused the body the organs the biggest organ in your body which is your skin go into that attack stress where did this stress come from what stressed you out and it could be sometimes you knowing where the stress come from or it could be unknowing it could be something that your body reacted to without you having a conscious knowledge of it until we tap into the subconscious and it's like your body speaking to you it's your body responding and we have a conversation with the body you know this mind body connection it is for real truly it is so everything that happens to us I know it's a cliche but believe it or not there is a reason for this word that has come to be a reality it's happening for you so once you recognize it and then we can ease the pain comfort you physically mentally and emotionally uh, help you alleviate the anxiety by recognizing the cause of it then the next time you are in that situation or that stressful in situation you can first choose not to respond to that stressful situation second we tap within and it's like a button you know that easy button or just with some of my clients I say just imagine that elevator and if the elevator button is out of order what we do is visually and we embed ask you to consciously and subconsciously embed a button it says out of order that anytime you're in the same or similar similar stressful situations that your body is not reacting to it the same way you will recognize it but the body is not responding to it the same way so and it can be the same with 
attention deficit disorder. I have a philosophy. It's not a disorder, but it is a miscommunication how to be in order because everything that we do, all the, all those who have the OCD and everything, everything has to be in order, right? Because until it's not in order, or I believe that everything is not set, or I have to make sure that the knobs, uh, everything is locked, the windows are locked, or this is clean, or that is in order, it's because somewhere within us, everything has to be in order for us to function. So we go and find the disconnect or where it stems from and ease the, the disorder or the anxiety that goes with it or what causes you ang uh, the anxiety and you are anxious. <sighs> Hypnotherapy is truly utilizing a tool called hypnosis and doing the therapy part of it with the tool the technique of hypnosis so that we can tap within your subconscious mind faster than the conscious analyzing, judging, criticizing, reasoning part of you. Period. That's what I mean. Period. It's not a run-on sentence. And every time you are going into this convulsion of like... Oh, if I don't do this, this is going to happen. That's going to happen at that very moment. I say the moment you are going into this hyperventilating situation of that is causing you not breathing. Pause. Put a period. Period. Okay. One, two, three. Now I can continue speaking. Now I continue doing. And then pause period and then a new sentence a new beginning once you start using this technique pause period begin and then you say or you feel or you do and then pause period begin this is a whole technique it's like saying breath work it's four counts. You breathe in, pause, hold for four counts, four, three, two, one, exhale. Again, breathe in, Now, let's do it one more time. Deep breath in. It's amazing that if you begin to utilize not only the four count breath, Breathe in, pause, period, exhale. You do the same thing as you feel you are going in this run-on sentence, into this hyperventilating, into creating, creating your own anxiety, into the point of you become so anxious that you say, I can't imagine, I can't, the word can't, at that very moment, you pause, you place a period, and as you exhale, you realize, ah, I just did it. And the moment you do it, just like Nike says, just do it, you realize that you can. That self-acknowledgement that I can pause, put a period and begin that means I am in total control and I can handle this 
if I can handle my breath, if I can handle putting a pause, a period, and begin, that means I can handle one more thing. I can handle if this is moved for me not to go into that panic and anxiety and just sit with this. I can pause, I can put a period, and I can breathe through this instead of feeling anxious that this is not in the place it needs to be. And who said it needs to be there or who said it needs to be where you said it's supposed to be? It just is. Stay with it. See how you feel. If you are feeling anxious because it has moved or it is not exactly what you thought it's supposed to be, say it to yourself. It's okay. I can pause. I can place a period. And then I can do this again. I can pause. I can put a period. Wow, I just did this for two minutes. I can pause. I can put a period. Wow, I didn't realize that I am in total control of what I thought I can't do without. And now I have a handle on it. And every time I do this, just like a craving, that lasts only for three minutes. And if you can pause, put a period, and begin three minutes at a time, guess what? By golly, you are already on a new path of creating a new habit, a new behavior, a new form of knowing I have more control than I thought I had. And I say congratulations for learning a new technique on your own, to implement it on your own, and realize there is no such thing as outside if you if you don't put a pause on it. And if you choose to put a pause or a period or out of order and recognize that you are the only one that is responsible for the responses and reactions to what you think you cannot. So that's what I teach with every single client of mine. When they come here, it's all about not only word association, it's to empower you consciously and subconsciously. It's to, for you to realize, you know what is confidence? It is, it is knowing that you can. And then I empower you and your self-esteem to recognize within yourself to believe you can. Once you believe is what you become. So what you want to do, what you want to become, is when you believe it, you become it. Believe it and you become it. If you believe, if you've studied to be a pharmacist, if you've studied to be a CPA, that's what you become is because you believe yourself to be a CPA. See, an attorney does not say, I'm a CPA. They say, I am an attorney because that's what they studied. That was their passion. And when they studied it, they passed the bar, they say, I am an attorney. Actually, I believe to say, I, my practice, professionally, I practice as an attorney as a lawyer, right? By profession, I am a lawyer. That's not who you are, but that is the practice. So 
it's like a police officer or someone from the military there it's embedded in who they are although it's not who they are but the practice right so even police officers know this once you're an officer you're all an officer it's like 24 7 you are there to protect and serve of course you are on the job on the job but even when you're not on the job you still believe yourself to be a police officer you believe yourself to be a doctor and when someone is injured you will go and help them right so that is what we become when we believe who we are and I want you to believe that you have all the abilities all the capabilities and physically mentally emotionally every aspect of your body also knows how to heal so the cure is within you the healing is within you and when you come to heal within is to understand more about yourself consciously and subconsciously and once your subconscious mind accepts it ah, that's where freedom comes it's knowing that you can be and do and become anything within your own self you have the ability to tap within and heal it's not the cure it's the healing doctors heal their hands in surgery they are there to heal they help the sick heal the same as clergy teachers we are all there mothers when they hold the child and they kiss the finger it's that love it's the attention that begins the healing maybe a little bit the saliva and the band-aid right so it's all about how we tap and how we love to begin the healing process thank you for being a part of this week's episode and your tools and techniques that you have within yourself hone it sharpen it love it appreciate it and utilize the breathe in breathe out four count and remember to pause place a period and begin if there is any reason that you believe you have hit a wall a block or you cannot go over a self-limiting belief or there is a pain that you want to alleviate or you cannot sleep or you've held on to so much emotional mental and baggages that you have not let go of either habits and behaviors isn't it time to my name is Lisa Bubari this is why I am here to help you heal within and until next week, I bid you goodbye and have a wonderful week. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Goodbye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here next time